What's the best way to turn your dirty bike into a brand new bike? Jet wash or hand wash? Let's find out. Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Legworks, the channel for cycling addicts. Before we start, make sure you hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to stay up to date on new videos. There are different opinions if you can use a jet washer, but in general, there's nothing against it if you stick to a few rules. However, just water will not turn your dirty bike into a sparkling one. For that, you need soap and you need to clean the drivetrain. And I'm just going to show you how to do that. But first, let's have a look at what we need. For those of you who wonder, how often do I need to do a deep clean? Well, it depends. I usually do it every three to 500 kilometers or if needed. We need lots of hot water with soap, microfiber towel and cloths, different brushes, a water hose, solvent and a chain cleaner, and then to reloop the chain and joints. If you have a very dirty bike, you can either use a jet washer or you can use one of those products. Before we start, let's clean the seat post and the jaws. For a really deep clean, let's remove the wheels. So shift your chain to the smallest cock. A very useful tool is this dummy hub that will keep the chain in place. I usually start with the dirtiest part, which is the drivetrain and the chain. But if the frame is very muddy, for instance, use a jet washer, but stay clear of any bearings. Or in my case, I need to soak some of the dirt, so I'm going to use a spray. Now, while the frame soaks, we can start using the small brush and some solvent to remove any dirt or grime. Here's a pro tip for you. You can reuse solvent. Just rinse it through a filter and put it in a container and stow it away. And it's good to be used at the next time. So I'm going to dip the brush into the solvent and apply it gently on the pulley wheels. And with the other end, if there's any dirt, I can re easily remove it. And I repeat the procedure with the chain rings. I'll give it a nice scrub. Now I'm filling the solvent into the chain cleaner. Make sure you fill it up to the fill line. Now attach the chain cleaner to the chain and close it. Then start pedaling backwards. Always pedal backwards. You have to do this about 20 to 30 times. Some say about a minute. Well, actually check your chain every once in a while. Next, fill the chain cleaner with soapy water and reattach it to the chain. And again, pedaling to the back. This will remove the solvent. Now it's time for the brushes. Also give a nice rub to the pedals. Don't be afraid to soap the brake calipers as we will rinse them with fresh water later on. For tight areas, use this bottle brush. For the handlebars, I like to use a microfiber towel. And be careful with mechanical shifters as you might flush out some grease. And now we give the bike a nice rinse. We rinse from top to bottom and don't use too much pressure. Just imagine a light rain shower. Pedal to take out any water from the chain and then we let the bike air dry. While the bike air dries, we can clean the cassette. Again, we use the solvent and we can use the other end to take off any dirt. I'm going to tilt the wheel a little bit to the front to avoid any solvent getting into the hub. Then we take out the solvent with a soapy brush. And we can use the bottle brush to clean the hub as well. Don't forget to clean the rim from both sides. 
and the rotor. Then rinse. Spin the cassette to remove the water. Repeat the process with the front wheel. Now let's make sure that all the water is out of the chain. To start applying loop, let's find the master link first, as a reference. Here it is. Then let's drip loop on each rivet. Until you've reached the master link. Then put back the wheel. Then spin the wheel and shift to the cox to distribute the loop. Give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe.